It's our big story at 10. Big changes for Thunder on the Lakeshore. They are showing Manitowoc taking a huge hit after military spending cuts. Leaders are making up for those losing performances and aircraft, but funding is coming out of their pockets. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel has more. This air show costs roughly $100,000 to put on, and the show usually includes military jets, paid for by the government. But with sequester cuts, Thunder on the Lakeshore is forced to do more with less. Planes soar through the skies in Manitowoc, but this year, something's missing. There's less people here than other years. Air Force F-16s and Navy F-18s usually make some thunder, but this year, the crowd favorites are nowhere in sight. Oh, I think it's going to impact the show no matter what, because that's the big rumble on the lakeshore when you hear those big jets going on. Joe has been coming to the air show since it started, 21 years ago. In rain or shine, I'm going to come out here and see it. But this show has less. We've made up for it by having just a great variety of acts. Organizers had to rethink the layout after a call in April saying due to military spending cuts, the jets would be grounded for the air show. Oh, we just regrouped and decided um, that we were the little air show that could and uh, we were going to make it happen. Leaders had to pay private pilots to fly their planes and fill gaps left from the missing military jets. Despite no jets, diehard fans like Joe, not disappointed. You know, you're lacking some of the thrill of it, with the, which the big jets do bring, without question. But is that all of the show? No, not by any stretch. The air show is also a week later this year, which may have affected the crowds. Some of the regulars may be attending other events around Northeast Wisconsin. Raquel Lamel, NBC 26.